very much. My name is Chowin Kamawisi. It's really my honor to welcome you at the Thai Parliament. Uh, most of you is from America. 30 years ago, I stayed in a small town of North Carolina. His name is Bulls Creek. Very small. When I first be there, I asked him, how big is it? He said, it's a university, bigger than city, because on the 6th of all, it's nothing. On Sunday, I went to the church. Uh, and I absorbed American way. I stayed there for about four or five years. I have two kids with my ex-wives. And this is my second term of the, my MP. Uh, as you know, in Thailand, you want to talk about, if you want to talk about the truth, about the, the sex industrial, sex business in Thailand. Uh, once I have been involved about this business, and everybody, I mean, every Thai, or even in the, uh, the media like CNN, BBC, used to interview me. It's the biggest business in Thailand. Uh, as I am in America, once when I went to the Las Vegas, there is a the place called Mustang Ledge. It's very old, yes. Uh, we have to consider about the, the Thai people income and uh, about the, the, the attitude, about the culture. Most of the, the Asian culture is, is uh, the woman, you know, behind the man. That is uh, the old time thinking. When I think about the way that the uh, Western drinking and the uh, Thai drinking thing, you know what is the difference? Don't know, I tell you. <laughs> you know, Thai people never drink alone. You know, the American people drink in the, with the bartender in the counter bar. They drink alone. Nobody seems that nothing wrong. But if the Thai people do that, they will ask him, what happened to you? Are you broken heart? <laughs> See, this is one and one more thing when you go to eat. The Thai people, they eat them together with the chair, the fish. If they have a fish, they will serve with one fish and a chair you know, for you. If you go to eat, they will separate the fish for you. If you eat four people, they keep you four fish. So this is the best of the culture is different from the Western world and the Eastern world. Once when I, I have a kid in the United States, I bring the kid to the school. The kid went to the class and the teacher asking, talking in the class and, and if anyone want to talk something, want to ask him something, Everybody, I mean every kid raised their hand, they want to talk. Yes, I have a question. Teacher, I have a question. The same thing in Thai. The Thai kid in the class may be wondering something, but they never raised their hand. This is another different why. Because there is a seniority. I mean in the Thai, it's very strong. The seniority system. The seniority system said that uh, the small guy have to listen to the big guy. We stay together, you know, My mother, grandmother, niece, nephew, aunt, uncle. They stick together. Maybe they stay in a separate house, but they still stay together with the same compound. But in the Western, you live in an individual. So individual. When you uh, grow up, you separate. You have your own house. You fight.
your own. The Thai people stay with the group. That's what I try to explain to you. So when you talk about uh, the sick business, sick industry in Thailand, nobody wants to work in the sick industry. But because maybe the father is poor, maybe the brother need anything, maybe my uncle want anything. So in the Thai, they're concerned about the, the, the girl, the woman. When they have a, in the Chai, Chinese way, when they have a kid, when they have a boy, they will be happy. When they have a boy, because the boy will grow up and will be continue the, the, the last name, the family, or whatever for the family. But in the Thai, we are happy if we have a girl. I mean the parent, when they have a kid, you know, they give a bird, they have a girl, they're happy. So this is the culture of the, the, the Thai system, which is stay in the seniority system, which is stay in the group. We concerned at the group. Sometimes it's made same in, 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 in China, in Japan, but because Thai, we are still in the, uh, the poor. You know, and, and the, the globalization grows so fast. You know, when you see the iPad, you know, you want an iPad. You want to see the, the Blackberry, you want the Blackberry. You want to see the car, you want the car. You know, so the, all the, the, the Thai need something replaced. So they, they, they want. They want money. They grow up. We concern with the group. They feed to the family. This is the base of the, the problem. So, as you can see, we are still in concern in the human right. It's, it's difficult. We are on the process. We are progressing about concern about the human right and now everybody talk about the human right for myself I still have two kids you know in the US sometimes I want to visit them you know because I have the father but still I cannot get the visa uh, I, I, I may ask you Maybe we, we should discuss. If you have some question, the Thai politics. This is the parliament which we have uh, two, uh, the, the the MP and the senator. We have the prime minister, same way of the UK system. It's my different from the US system because we have have a presidential system. Uh, we have 500 MP, which now is uh, on the executive bench is 300 and the uh, opposition 200. I am the, on the opposition side. And we, Thailand, we have a problem now about the, the we call the uh, compromise problem. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah consolidation. They have a red shirt, they have a yellow shirt. Have you known the last year? Have you heard about that? They're fighting together with that all time, you know. I always say that the political is a compromise. If we not compromise, it's a war. So we have a war. We are was in a war last year. Red shirt, yellow shirt. I still don't know why they fight together. Within 2011, they still fight together. They're concerned about the, you know, and because the, the Thailand, the, the power in the Thai system, they separate with the happiness before, until one guy coming. His name is Mr. Taksin. You know, when they're coming, they took over all the power with him. So the, the, the Thai 
power concern or Mr. Thaksin took all the things. So then now they, they're wondering about Mr. Thaksin. Everything is playing Mr. Thaksin. Now we still have a problem about Mr. Thaksin. So, so Thai society should learn how to live together. Most of the Thai is a Buddhist. I think all the religion should compromise. Red and general, we still have that problem until now. And this is a Thai politics. I would like to join with you. Maybe you have some question. Um, can you please introduce yourself first? Hello, my name is uh, Rasmai. I come from Cambodia. And I have read about your profile and background. And I have uh, two questions. Uh, my first question is why you start your uh, business with the uh, search industry? And the second question, uh, you have been run for the Bangkok governor for two times and you still failed. And if you uh, become the uh, Bangkok governor, so do you still allow the Bangkok to have the prostitution in Bangkok or not? Thank you. Yes. yes. Now, I am 50 years old. I started that sick business on 30. Three zero years old, is it young? At that time, I think about Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Hugh Hefner, it's running with the well. They have a brandy, they have a cigar. You know, the system create the guy like me. <laughs> the system. Create. I mean, you, it's the same. You are created by the internet. Maybe you, you don't, don't feel that way, but I think at that time. So I created by the system. The system that, oh, Hugh Hefner is looking good. They have a castle, big house. They have a full you know, they have anything. So when I was 30 years old, I got the dream, you know. So I, I start that business. And, and, and that is a goal so fast. Within 10 years, I got everything, you know. Yes. I always accept that it make me different from another Thai politic or maybe another politician because the spotlight is so strong and, and I always accept that. Some people said, Mr. Chuvit, you are the bad person. <laughs> yes, I am the bad person. Should I try to do a good, to be the good guy? Let me try. Then I run for the Bangkok governor. People loving me. You know, oh, Mr. Chuvit, what are you doing? You have to do the massage parlor. What are you doing? Yes, I am the massage parlor. I clean body. Now I go to politics to clean someone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. If I claim, if I, you, you, you claim yourself is very white, clean. Yes, I am not so dirty, so black. I am clay. <laughs> and clay is the most area in Thai society. Not so clean, not so white. So if you choose in me, I am a majority of this society. So they choose me. I got the vote about uh, three hundred fifty thousand vote. You know, yes, I ranked number three. And the Bangkok governor is same like a New York governor. You know, thirty thirty years ago, 
I went to the New York. The first time I went to New York is snowing. And somebody said to me, hey, Mr. Chubit, if you went to New York, be careful. New York is very dangerous city. So I, I, I my airplane fly to the Kennedy Airport. And then I'm looking for the cab, for the taxi. I'm choosing the really old guy. And I told him, bring me to the, a lot of people. Which area in uh, Manhattan, which a lot of people. That driver took me to the 42nd Street, Times Square. And that time, I don't know why, why it's in Times Square, a lot of people. They also have a beep too. <laughs> you know, a quarter and, and, and put the quarter and they have a some ponage movie and a curtain. You know. Yeah. I I, I, I wasting a, a, a lot of back slot and see the movie, see the movie. I don't know. That is a lot. At that time I I walk in the street, you know, some people talking to me. Hey do you want something? You want something? I say, asking me, the one you do you want some drug? Oh, I have it. <laughs> you know, I have it. That guy look at me. You have it? Yes, I have a lot. I get the headaches. You know, I get cold. I have a, a lot of that. <laughs> and then, um, you know, that is the first time I've been in, in New York. And I met someone. Someone is showing me. He got a t-shirt. I love New York. He said, oh, that's good. Can, uh, he said, he said that, 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 that they showed me. They, they, they said to me, that they, oh, I want to show you, you are a new one, right? They look at me, they know that I'm a new guy in town. What they show me around? Uh, let me show you around. They just bring me, brought me to some place and show in, in, in uh, 42nd Street, about 5 or 10 minutes. And then, hey, okay, this is done. I charge you 200 bucks. Oh, to tour you around. You know, oh, yes. And they said, okay. I don't have any money now. Can you come here tomorrow? I give you 200. You know, living in this big city like New York, you don't get smart, right? You have to walk fast. You know. So I think about that, that New York. And, and then at the millennium year, 2000, I went there again. I went to New York. They all clean. They do people show. Nothing. There is a high rise. The place that I, I, I put up the, the corn and, and see the people show, no, not them. The New York over the clean everything. You know, this is true that we, we, we choose you know, work for the right one as the Bangkok governor. You know, we have a flood. Have you seen the flood all over? You no? Know? Yes. Yes. This is have a lot of fun. You see, we have a lot of canal. We used to be the the, the Venice before. Venice have a lot of canal. They all link together the canal and go to the river Jabaya and go to the ocean. But now it's all canal is done. All the, the the factory, all the housing project, all the thing coming in the Bangkok and Bangkok. So why? Now they grow up, grow up, grow up. They never thinking of to live with the natural, you know. They block the water, they block the flood way. So that is the our problem. If I be the Bangkok governor, I will do a lot of things different from the politician. But the same, the politics is you have to compromise. That's what I explain to you. Can I have another question, please? Should we should learn to each other. Yes? Yes, ma'am? Good afternoon, sir. I am Umi from the Gambia in West Africa. Yeah. I am learning about Thai politics as well as prostitution in Southeast Asia and Thailand. 
specifically. I want to ask you this question. I have understood from my readings and classroom discussion that hill tribe people in Thailand and other minority groups are not treated equally like the Thai speaking people. For that being the case, they are stigmatized against and they don't have access to basic facilities in Thailand and also their civil and political rights are very limited. But that being the case, they are very vulnerable to be trafficked, caused, or influenced into the sex trade. Meaning, some of them do not have bright features and their vulnerability to HIV AIDS is very high. So the situation is a very complex one. As an MP who had been in the business, what do you think is a project that you can implement in order to influence your colleagues in the parliament, in order to look critically into the issues of these minority groups in Thailand? Because when you say development for Thailand, development without the participation and the inclusion of the minority groups, therefore, I see it to be no development. I stand to be corrected, but that is the issue, the number one issue of it. And after answering that, I can come up with the second one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's very good. It's very good. Sorry. It's, you know, every country, I believe, they have their own problem. Because the culture, because all the background. Uh, Thailand, we still, we, we, we all stay with the peace for more than maybe 100, maybe 100 years. You know, we have a, all kind of religion. We have a Catholic, Christian, we, 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 we have a Muslim, and, and we have all kind of foreigner people. We have a, before we have a Portuguese, we have a Chinese, they, 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 they all stay. I think Thailand, I think would be better, a lot better than maybe Burma, which have a, a lot of minority group. We, 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 we still better, but to living in in the in the modern world, everything has to stand up. Believe me, I think in US still have a two stand up too. That if we accept that, you know, I always talking that I I used to went to the jail for one month. You know, when I stay in jail, I, I met one one guy. They they are blind. He he by he's a guy blind. I asking him why are you coming here? You are blind. You know what what did you do to come here? He said I am trespassing. You know blind. How come they are blind and, and, and trespass? You know, how come you get this child? You know, maybe because I, I don't have any money to pay the, the lawyer. You know, we are entered to the, the, the new, new world. The new world make us separate. The new world make us have to stand up. Maybe you call the bus stand up. Yes? Within the law, within the society, within the culture, within the, 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 the way you're living, we have all we have to stand up. This is that's what I, I, I try to explain to you. Maybe not exactly what you want, but every country, we have to stand up, I believe. Maybe you concern the one standard for the rich people, one standard for the poor people. Yes, eighty percent of this country we have poor. We try. We try very hard. 
and, and if we are have a the political the better the good one we don't have any Rachel and you're not sure the stupid thing you know we can move forward and, and, and solve the problem you know I glad that you asked this question because this is separate our society by two sides you know, one they concern about minority and majority. I mean, even in uh, some country, even some country in, in, in Africa, you know. So they try to solve in the parliament, try to solve the problem of the double standard. And then last year, have a people dying ninety one. And, and still have a, a, a foreign reporter, I, I don't know, from uh, from Italy, yes, from Italy one, and, 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 and one from Japan. See, see, they are, uh, 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 you know, a trotting in, in the street, and, and they be there, you know. See, this is, and because they don't concern, maybe they don't know, this is the power of the Thai society, the power of the army. As you know, I mean, in Thailand, in Cambodia, in Indonesia, in Philippines, they're all the same. Power of the army is so strong, you know. They have a gun, you know. <laughs> see. So, so we are in a different world. And, 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 and this is the way we live, you know. And we all, 91 die, and the foreigner, even the Japanese and, 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 and Italy, this still cannot solve the problem. Who killing them? See, they still blah, 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 blah. Year by year, blah, 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 blah. And then I have to listen. See, first when I, I, I am the politician, I want to solve. I want to take care of the problem, you know. But I got four MP, four from five hundred. You know, you know. I have to talk louder. You know, that's what the problem is. Yes. Yes, true. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you giving us your time. I'm very interested in your uh, opinions or your policies against corruption. I've been in Thailand for about seven years, and I uh, saw during the election your Tampan Corruption. I saw that all over Thailand. Um, so you're very famous for that. So I would like to know what are you doing practically or implementing against corruption in Thailand? Maybe you, you know the corruption differently. Let me explain to you shortly. You know, corruption in Thailand, maybe they did not concern this is a corruption. For example, you driving the car, you know, and you you passing the, the red light and the police stopping you, all right? And, 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 and the police asking you, why do you do this? This is the red, how come you come through? And you give them 100 baht, all right? That is not concern that is a corruption because I give 100 baht, oh, go to lunch, all right? Go to buy coffee. Right? Okay. Some people say, oh, this is a corruption. But you have to understand, this is stick from the old time. For example, you know the spirit how? All of you know the spirit how? The, when you passing the spirit how? The Thai people do this. You know? They always do this. You know what it means? You know what is the spirit how? Okay. So what inside the spirit how? Huh? <laughs> you, you, you really believe that there is some spirit in that house? <laughs> See, yes, Thai people do. Why they do? When they ask him, why you do that? Why you have to do this when you pass in the spirit house? Huh? I don't know. Maybe someone in the spirit house? Huh? <laughs> no? Maybe someone stay in spirit house. Huh? 
the way that you pay the corruption. Why you pay that? I don't know. Because someone paid it before. <laughs> this is the base in the problem. I don't know. I pay hundred baht because I see my brother pay. I see my father pay. You see, when you run the business, okay? Let's say like an American big company. Yes, you have a law that you cannot pay. Yes, I understand. But your paper will be here for a long time. Right? Maybe then you submit for some license. All right? You send to the, the government officer. And the government officer, huh? you don't have any convenient fee. <laughs> what is a convenient fee? To make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> to make it faster. Why? How faster? You make it late. They have a leg, they can walk, right? <laughs> they can run. You know, if you do a business slow, how can you do the business? You have to make it fast. So, pay. So that is a convenient fee. That is the same way. Why I have to pay? Because everybody pay. Because that is a majority. Everybody. You want to be the minority? You want to straightforward? Okay, let me. So you wait one year, your competitor go there, and then this is the way they, they, they create the, the, the corruption. So maybe the Thai call convenient fee, you know, convenient fee was not mean makes you convenient, make you fast. But this is not the way we should do. But the solving the problem, the attitude of the, the Thai, not so easy. Because they do this for 100 years, 200 years. And the old time, I am the big guy. Oh, send some money, send some money to me. They come to send you the money. Uh, I want some to show that I am in the power. I think in the Roman time, they still have it, all the same. You know, send me. So they stick in the society, that small guy have to do. You know, you are the part of the system because you are the officer who run the, the, the office, who approve anything. The concern is, is ah, you are respect me. Okay, you give me. Okay, I approve to you. You will not respect me. Why don't you did not give me something on my birthday? <laughs> huh? On my birthday, I want some gold. You know, my kid went to university. My kid went to university at the Boston. I had to pay the tuition fee a lot. You know? So it's not quite easy to talk about the corruption. You have to know and we solve that problem step. But take time. Maybe twenty years, maybe thirty years. In some countries like Korean, like Chinese, like many, many countries. That had to solve that problem. But if I were the government, if I were the prime minister, so easy. Just take some sample, maybe 10 politicians go to jail hmm. to create something that uh, if you do this, I will get you to the jail, get you behind the bar, create some, you know. Let, like a create, like a, you have a passing spirit, how you have to do this. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, uh, Mr. Chuvit, uh, I, my name is Ho, I'm the adjunct that teach the economics of the sex industry in Southeast Asia, uh, but I'm from Vietnam originally. Um, I have many questions for you, but I have one maybe easy for you to answer and maybe it will inform our students something about how to make changes. Uh, clearly, 20 years ago, your business is very different from your business now. You are now on the opposite side of the fence. Something must have happened in society, in your life. What was it that made you change uh, to, to go from one line of business a very different kind of business. This morning we met another lawmaker 
who was a former lawyer. You were a former massage parlor owner. Now you're a lawmaker. What was it that made you change? Thank you. I think you all know this. You know, American people said, after 40, you learn a new life. Or maybe you when you marry, you will have a seven year each. When you have seven year, I mean I love my wife, but I need something new. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to be the I mean to be the lawmaker. You have to learn about the majority and about system. The eighty percent of this system, like I said, is grey. So to choosing the people like me, or let the people like me working. I know the bad part, I know the good part, I know many parts in the society. So, have you seen the movie, uh, Catch Me If You Can? Uh, I am. <laughs> Catch Me If You Can. So I know everything. You want to choose the people like me, to catching the bad guy? I know. So that's why when I want something new, I, I, I think you know Obama, right? Obama said, we want change, right? Believe in change. I want to change myself. I'm passing the 40, 50, and now I'm 50 years old. I want to change something. I believe all of you are the same. I want to change something, but you can't. What happens if you can? What do you want to change? Hmm? You are a student. Now you are a student. You look forward. And then you look at the system. Oh, I want to change. And when you be the part of the system, you cannot, you cannot change anything. <laughs> you cannot do anything. You know, look at me. Look at Obama. One chain. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> it didn't change anything. It still be the same. Everything is the same. For me, the thing that I want to change, I'm not the change the politics. I cannot. I am the minority here. I am only four from the five hundred. But what I change from the view of the people who listen to me, I want to change some view from you. I want to know that at least there is a response. Try. You know, I'm not going to come here, stay here all the time and be the old politi politician, old, old. No. It's maybe your time to do something. I do it for five years. I want to buy the job. You know, yeah. big job. You know, selling. You know, I try very hard to change something. And sometimes I think I cannot change. I change. How can I change? Change. Mm. Yeah, change. Change. Mm. Monster, change. Change. You know, let them know that if someone try. That's what I, I, I require to you. That maybe I cannot do it the whole thing, but I try to find something new, something different, same as you. Yes? Okay, uh, my name is Shalom Hon Tanthawanit. I work with uh, the Institute for Global Study. And then I have a question. Uh, in your opinion, do you think the massage parlor, your business in the past, uh, is this a kind of the black money? And right now, you still use the black money or not? I can explain. <laughs> I can explain to you. You know, you, I, I went to the Vegas. Let me tell you this story. I went to the Vegas. Yes, last week. And I see that a massage. I went there. You know, the guy in the front, big guy, the explaining regulation. Three page. 
gotten touched on anything, you know, don't do anything, you know. And when you go to the club, you know, you have to do like this. You, you, you see in the movie, this, 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 the dancing in the counter, you know, they have a pole, do some this, and, now, and then they have to sit like this. You know, cannot touch, cannot do anything. Um, the same. The massage partner, they do the massage. You know, the massage, you know, yes, some people maybe you agree to pay something. I earn the money from the room. You know, from the room. Yes, if you're asking me that, what they do in that room, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You know, I don't know. I, I, I've never been in that room with more than two priests. <laughs> there will be two persons in that room. You know, yes, I accept that. I earn money from the room. Yes. And when I want to run the, the politics, I saw that. Yes, I saw everything. Some people say, I'm stupid. You are so stupid. Yes, sometimes I have to be so stupid. Yes, and and then maybe you have another question. Yes. Um, as recently, not recently, being in politics, but leaving the sex industry to be part of politics, I know with corruption being one of your main goals to end it. Um, obviously corruption in the sex industry is important to you to end, I'm sure. So my question is, what is your stance on um, the industry and whether like legalization would make it less corrupt or not, or end like trying to combat it? I'm, I'm wondering what your stance on legalization and prostitution is. Yes. You know, I try. Some people want to do it legally. To do it legally, accept that. Oh, this is a lot. And when you ask in the Thai people, no, we don't have any that kind of business. You want to do it legal? You know, casino, they still want it the legal. The casino is uh, illegal in Thailand, and same way at the, 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 the prostitution. I I think every society. Let me tell you this, okay? When I, I went to the 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 wedding party, they they they, they inviting me to speak to the room and fly. I always said that, open your eye. You open two eyes before you marry. And after marry, you close one eye. <laughs> Why? Because if you open two eyes, you cannot live in together. You have to flexible. Right? Let's say that uh, your guy want to go to talk with your friend, have a good time with your friend. No, you cannot go. You have to stay. <laughs> you see, living together with the compromise, so you have to forgive them. You have to close one eye. But before you marry, you open two eyes. You're looking at the good one, the right one, the one that they can live with you for the whole life. This is the same. You want to do the the, the the in the society, in your society, and every society, every country, they have some small mistake. So try not to bring that. I mean, I try to explain to you some is uh, illegal in the society, but this is so so small. Don't make it big. Don't make it everything right. You cannot do anything, the whole system right. Maybe they should do something wrong for two, for three percent. Leave it. Leave it that way. Don't 
try to do the perfect society 100%. So that what I, I say to you is, yes, you cannot solve the problem, but make it less, make it small. Um, no, I completely agree that it's not something you can necessarily combat. It will exist. So my question is, do you think that legalization would be what makes it small? Because right now, currently, even though prostitution is illegal, um, private sectors are allowing it to happen, along with women doing it on their own. And women are generally, or women, men, whoever is in prostitution, are the ones that are obviously doing the illegal acts. So it's, it's, it's more than that than the private sector would be something that would need to be looked at as being at fault as well. So like, would legalization end those issues? in your mind, or would they lessen them? I disagree for the, to make them legal. I would leave that problem and make them small by the nature. How? You create the income. Nobody wants to work like that. Because you are pushing. How are you pushing? You are pushing by the system. You know, everybody want the money, want to buy the iPad, want the car, want the house for my mother, want the car, want the new furniture, you know. I want Gucci, Christian Dior. You create that. You never, never enough. You need more. So, if you make it, try to understand and make the problem, not grow up the same way that you're living together in the family. You know what that is wrong. You cannot do everything right. If you do something so right, you cannot stay together. You have to talk, you have to have a problem every day, every night. <laughs> Where you from? Why you come so late? <laughs> Why you spend so much money? Why you eat and not clean? <laughs> Why you sleep and, and, and no? You see, there is a lot of things. Same way when you are married, you know, you know, you cannot do everything right. You are the human being. And this is a society. There is a small space for you to make a mistake. But not so big. How come if your 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 parent monitor you all the time? Where you go? Why you come so late? Huh? What you doing? Huh? What you doing last night? Who is that girl? <laughs> See, so, but to bring that legalized, to make it legalized, I, I disagree. I don't think that they will solve the problem. Yes? I have a little question. Uh, we've been talking about corruption, and so I want to speak again about corruption. Uh, you, I think you know a great deal about Thailand's police. Uh, over the last decade, uh, 2003 and until recently, uh, we have a new police chief, uh, Priyopan Damapong, and that same man was, uh, in, uh, was a senior in the police in 2003. Uh, my question is, do you really see corruption in the police diminishing today? Uh, also, do you see a diminishing of of uh, political divisions within the police today, like for those who like support toxin in the police and those against toxin in the police. The problem is you are brave enough to change. It's not difficult to change. It's the Obama can change, but you are brave enough to change. Because when you change, you have to start with the new one. Step one, two, three. The new, the police chief, you cannot change anything. Why you cannot change? If you can change, you want to change? Okay, first, you have to keep the money, the salary, all the income to the police more. Because they don't keep you hard to hard because I have money, I have salary enough. But because I got only 8,000 baht, I got enough money for my wife, for my kid. So I take that 100, 200, 500. So get the money more. And when you get the money more, you're not going to get the money then. All right? All right, you have enough money. Second, it's too 
many ranching officers in the Thai system because they live in the senior, they live in with the dignity. They have a surgeon, they have a captain, they have a lieutenant, they have a colonel, they have a general. I think that they have a general a lot. In the, in the police department, they have a, a general, about maybe 200 or 300 general. I don't know. They have a lot. So cancel that. Why do you cancel that? Because you have no range. I don't have to respect to see the surgeon, the lieutenant, everybody. Why? Okay, so you bigger. You are general. I have to give you more. Right? So make it equally. No. Because you are the law enforcement. You are law enforcement. It's nothing about the range. You have to be the big by the star in your, in your head or in your shoulder. The, the two things that give the money more and less the, the, the range, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, good afternoon. <coughs> My name is Zerdi. I'm from Cambodia. It's, it's not here. Um, I really interesting what you say that is uh, why the yellows and the red is fighting each other. You know, you also that is no the society which is perfect. So I just want to beg to if we look back the um, the pre former Prime Minister Thaksin, which is a create a good public policy like thirty baht for health care one million for a village and also they want like a foreign scholarship. So this is a uh, policy is for all Thai people. But why is the yellow and the yellow is uh, like white to overthrow his power? Because why I say like he do it in, 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 in order to help all the people in the society. But the people want to make trouble themselves by kicking, uh, kicking them out. So what do uh, what you think that the, the purpose of the yellow and the red fight each other? Thank you, Mike. There are two class. You know. And why? Before the Thai political party never showed themselves, I am on the in, represent for the lower class. I am a represent for the middle class. For example, Democrat and Republican. They show really clear. But in the Thai, or maybe in some country, they never show that I am the political party. I am represent of the lower class people. No, they represent for, they always say, I represent for the whole Thai people. And when the Mr. Taksin come, they start to separate. Populism. Populism. I give the poor guy all. I have to give them the free health care. Free. For the lower people, you don't have any money, free. Okay, and you are on the village, we do the, the rights, oh, I give you the uh, one million baht per village. Right, for what? You are, want to do something, want to do something, I have give you one million baht per village. So you separate. So the populism, populist, that created by the most important politician like Mr. Taksin. So Richard is represent from the lower class and in the lower class it's said in every country it's a majority. It's not the rich people in majority. The poor is a majority. So you got the word eighty percent. So Mr. Taksin won every time the election. And then we have a yellow. 
culture. The yellow shirt represents for the middle class, for the higher class, and maybe some sometimes they talk about the loyalty of the king. I represent you are the lower class. So who are checking this problem and divide the society into like I said before, the older political party always said that I represent for the whole Thai people. They never talk I represent for the lower class, I represent for the middle class. Now Prashanti but or Democrat Party represent themselves for the middle class. When the election, I know who you choosing. Yes. When I go there, everybody, ah oh, Mr. Chubin, I'm choosing you. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't believe. I know who choosing me. Or who just please me to talk to me. You know, the people in the street, the vendor, you know, you see, right? Taxi driver, the motorcycle taxi, or the, the vendor and the selling the food, something. You choosing Ledger or Mr. Taxi. Why? Because the populist, right? Maybe you think about this is right because the politician do something for the our our Thai. And when I before I mean let let five or ten years ago, I see some people in Isan. Isan is a part of the northeastern of Thailand. You know they get five hundred baht for the vote. You will trade five hundred baht for your vote. No. Uh, yes. You. You. No? Okay, I give you 5,000 baht. Still no? I give you 50,000 baht. Still no? I give you 5 million baht. See? So what is a make a difference with 5 million baht and 500 baht? Still buy. But they get only 500 baht. Why? Why you get 500 baht? What he said. I get 500 baht from the politician. It's better than get nothing. At least I get 500 baht. So Mr. Taksin come and change that word. I give you the populist. More than 500 baht. I give you the policy. I give you the free health care. I give you the money for the your whole village. So the people thinking, ah, this is Amway. <laughs> you know Amway? You don't know Amway. Ah, you know Amway. Amway is a dialect sale. Now we don't need 500 baht anymore. We don't have to pay, Mr. Thaksin said. Not pay 500 baht because I give you good policy. You have to choose in me because I give you the good policy, which is a populist. So now, we don't need to pay 500 baht. People don't get 500 baht. People get free health care, get free doors, free this. Now they free what? Free for first car. Ah, right? Free for first house. If you buy the first house, I give you the tax free. If you buy the first car, I give you the tax free. Uh, are you graduate yet? Not yet. If you graduate, I give you 15,000 baht per month. Normally, they get 8,000 baht. This is the policy, the populist policy for me to tax it. See, so you, you happy? You're happy, right? So you go choosing me. That is a trade. Right? Similar to US. <laughs> right? Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, with regard to your um uh, discussion on party. Would it be possible that your party itself could, in the future, represent, um, you know, kind of a, a midway of both a lower class and the middle class, or you know, so basically it's like represent uh, the in between. You know, it's so difficult. Why so difficult? You have to take side. You know, people monitoring you. The Thai people always said, this guy is too head. <laughs> you know, 
you have to take side. For me, when I say it about the opposition, I am the opposition. And whatever is a Democrat party said for opposition, I have to be with him, with them. Why? Why we don't have any reason a political so so difficult to not take a side. Now the 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 Thai society is very strong about this. They are separate, red and yellow. So I, I I think in the future if we can compromise, we can move forward this country. We don't have any problem, a stupid problem. You know. I think that's that's it. Um, thank you for all of you to coming and, and, and let me talk to you, share something with you. You know, you all come with the many countries which is it's a mixed culture. We can share, we can discuss so I'm happy that you come and in the future, please, you... Oh, oh what? Yes. What? Yeah, can yes. you have sure, a sure. one last question? Um, thank you for coming. My name is Alex. I wanted to know if you personally have a moral position on sex work and sex industry and like making money through sex tourism and sex work. Thanks. He said, you know, let me tell you something, maybe you don't understand something. I don't do anything straight for the six pieces. The government collect the tax for me. Do you think that when you pay the tax, your business is... You have to think that when you pay the tax, you have to be protected by the government. Right? Because you pay the tax. First, I am paid the tax. Second, the government give me the license. You have to do the massage parlor. You have to have a license. So you have a license. This means that the government accepts your business. You cannot uh, operate the massage parlor without a license. I mean, you have the the building with the more than one ten thousand square meter with the two hundred room. It's similar to the hotel. <laughs> I not do any ten room, twenty room. And I have a six place, it's 1,300, 200 or 300, 1,200, 300 room, which is means very big. People who work with me, 10,000. I mean, waiter, waitress, accounting, 10,000 people who are working with me. So this guy is pretty big. And how come I? How can I make it big? Because the Thai government support me. Why? Because they collect the money, the tax for me. Do you not concern you are the taxpayer? When you pay the tax, you reserve something from the, the government, right? I pay the tax. I am the businessman. I pay the tax. So, government have to protect me. They're protecting me by, they give me the license. They give me the, the, the permit to operate. So the better than talk to the government. And the Thai always say this. They say, yes, no. <laughs> you understand? When you say yes, right? The Thai government say yes. <laughs> and when you talk to the Thai people, they always say, yes, 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 okay, okay, okay. But they say, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
zone, no one like me. <laughs> when I hate you, I said I hate you. <laughs> when I said like you. The Thai government, they give me the license, they collect me the tax. And they said, oh, how can you protect the sex business? It's easy. You cancel the license. First thing you cancel the license, you don't keep the license. To do the massage, don't keep the license, don't operate, don't continue, don't ex do it expire. One year expire. Right? So don't, don't help. You never do that. It's been like that you support them because you still collect the, the tax from them. Yes? Um, yes. Going along with that, I was, that's kind of what I was trying to say earlier. Um, if it isn't legalized, don't you think that the private sector, like how you just said, don't give the license if you don't want them to sell sex there, that that is part of one of the things that needs to be like combated, that they allow the private sector to keep doing that without a punishment? Like, shouldn't there be a punishment, or do you think that that would be a helpful implementation to, to lessen the issue of corruption? Okay, you are the student. When you are, when the teacher have a test for you, you have an A, as a A, as a B, as a C, or as a D. The D is collect every A, B, C. <laughs> and you always, the Thai always choose D. Everything is collect. <laughs> you understand what I mean? They don't make the decision. If they make the decision, they do like this. No, that's it. But like I said, they leave the problem in the society and let the society solve themselves, which is never happened. If I be a government, you want to answer what do you want, leave it or take it. That is only two choices you can have. But they never make a decision. Yeah, he said, they still keep me the, the they just still keep the license and still collect the check. <laughs> so what do you want? <laughs> All right. I have two short questions. Um, your party is called Rakhine Thai, Love the Thai Country, or Love Thailand Party. My question is, where did you get this name? Why are you calling your party Rakhine Thai? And two, what is your your party's policy? Because I think most people think, oh, Mr. Chiwit, just anti-corruption. But what is your constructive policy to, what's your alternative to Mr. Thaksin or to Ms. Yingluck's government? Okay, i make it short for you. During I ran the campaign, I have a dog. I ran campaign with a dog. Boothuria. His name, Moto Moto. <laughs> Modo, modo, are you laughing? It's true. You know, and CNN come to ask me, Mr. Chubit, what are you doing with the dog? <laughs> I said, why? The dog is honesty. You cannot find the dog so honesty like a politician. No politician honesty like a dog. They are bargaining with the, 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 someone coming in the house on the middle of the night and stealing something. They don't know the corruption. The dog don't know. The dog stay in this house, and if another house give the food for the dog, and the dog go to another house, they never do like that. So the policy is all the same. Just the attitude of the politician is a different. Like a dog. If you think about the dog, the honesty, the loyalty, the all kind of thing the dog have, and treat them like a dog, and you are the dog, you can solve the problem of the human. <laughs> I, yes. Mr. Chubit, um, I'm Jeff, I'm from America, and I was just wondering what your religious background is, if you don't mind sharing with us. My family is Catholic. Hi, uh, my name is, is Abel. I'm from, uh, from Boston. Um, I had a quick question for you. Um, 
you you mentioned several things about about your history, about your past, and about now your your determination to fight corruption. And I was wondering two things. And the first was, given your, I believe every everyone who brings something to the table brings it from their past experience. And given yours, you have an understanding of things that I guess a lot of others may not. And I was wondering what you feel some of your strongest attributes or or sort of qualities are, uh, specifically drawing from your past now that you can use. And the second question is. Uh, what gives you motivation to continue fighting, given that you do represent a minority within the the parliament? And I was wondering what what uh what keeps you fighting when challenges arise. Thank you. That is a vast question and very good one to make you dry. You know. Some people said you still trying because you still have a feeling. We always compare the old guys like a dog because the dog stay in the house. The old guy never want to go to anywhere. They stay in the house. They want to stay in the house. They don't want to go to anywhere. You know, they com they also compare the woman on fifty like a side video. You know the Siberia? You don't know the Siberia? Siberia and Russia. You know, the girl when 50. The girl when they're 50 years old, they're like Siberia. Everybody, everybody know where it is, but nobody wants to go there. <laughs> oh, no, excuse me. Huh? It's true. So, I, 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 maybe I cannot reply you on the whole complete answer. But I, you are studying in the political, right? Oh, maybe you, you have to think yourself. People say that the political, nothing wrong, nothing right. It's depend on you. So the answer is maybe you want to to do something. You have to find your own way. You know. I am try to solve about the, 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 the problem Thai which is difficult. Uh, oh, how how long you stay? Uh, one year. Four months. Four months maybe is too short for you. But if you spend with me only four hours, really four hours, you know everything. <laughs> yes, you spend with me four hours and you know everything. The rest, you have to go to and see yourselves. Maybe you don't like about uh, the system here, but this is what they are. You know, I'm glad that you are, have an opportunity to come to to Thailand. This is very, very, very good for you to see what is different from your world. I have a chance. At that time, when I'm 20 years old, I live in North Carolina, I live in uh, New York, I, I live in San Diego. You know, I've been all, everywhere. And, and now it's your time. You know, you have to make your own way, you have to see what is different. But if you want to know deep about the Thailand, keep me four hours. Maybe this time is not enough to, to reply your 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 good question. I'm glad that you come once again and, and hopefully 